What's up fam, how are you all? Hope everyone is doing great. So in this video, I'm gonna share complete details about Bharat University. So in this video, I will cover the topics such as facilities, student life, collaborations, research, courses, admission process, fees, and last but not least, placements. So please watch this video until the end. By the end of this video, you will get a clear idea about Bharat University. So without any further ado, let's get started. So Bharat University was established on 1984 and the campus area is 300 acres and the type is private DMD University and the location is Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. And if you look into the accreditations of Bharat University, so Bharat University was approved by AACTA and uh, Bharat University was accredited by NAC with A grade accreditation and also it was approved by NBA and also NABL. And if we talk about the student life, so first we have to look about transportation. So the transportation facility for Bharat University is really good and this university provides bus facility to all parts of the city so if you look into the diversity of Bharat University so if you look into the percentage so the Telugu state students are about 40% and the North Indian students are about 40% and the native state students which is Tamil Nadu state students are about 20% and Indian border students will come on to 2% so you can communicate with other state students you can know about their culture you can know about their language and if you look into the minimum attendance percentage so one student has to maintain minimum 70 or above percentage and if you look into the dress code so there is no any particular dress code but one should have to maintain formal dresses for both boys and girls and Friday you can wear casual dress so the ID card and shoes are mandatory for every student so if you look into the facilities so the first facility is library so this library was established on 1984 so if you look into the collection of library so the total number of volumes of books is 3,35,541 books are there and we have one 110 national journals and we have 52 international journals so these are the collection for this library and the library is spacious and it is completely air conditioned and if you look into the labs so there are different labs with respect to each departments in this university so for CSE student there is large spacious labs so which are well equipped with updated systems and for core students also there are good enough equipments in order to perform their practicals and if you look into the timings for labs and libraries so the library timing is from morning 9 am to night 8 p.m. Before proceeding with this video, I would like to thanks to the sponsor of this video, GetCollegeAdmission.com. GetCollegeAdmission.com is an admission consultancy where they will provide admission guidance to the top private universities in India. They have 20 plus counselors to guide you during your application process or admission process. So if you have any doubt regarding any particular exam, counseling process or any query related to any particular college, you can contact them. I will provide the website link as well as contact number in the screen as well as in the description. You can check from there. So if you look into the hostel facilities, so the hostel facilities are divided based on your AC and non-AC rooms. So you can choose whether you want AC or non-AC. So there is only 5 sharing rooms according to my friend. So if you have more sharing rooms, please comment in the comment section. And the strength for hostel students is around 1500. So in furniture, a student will get study table, chair, cupboards, bed and also attached washroom, Wi-Fi as well as mineral water and the distance between college to hostel will be around 500 meters to 1 kilometer and the hostel security will be available 24 by 7 and also we have the curfew timings for hostels so in weekdays the curfew timing will be around 7 pm and on weekends you will have complete freedom in order to explore the city and parents and friends are allowed inside the hostel and the girls are not allowed to boys hostel and boys are not allowed to girls hostel but in case if you have any work with the girls so you have to take the permission from your warden so if you talk about the warden so there are multiple wardens so wardens are not that much super strict or not that much super chill so they are like moderate so if you want to go outside the campus you have to take permission from the warden so if you talk about mess food quality at the beginning stage so the mess food will be quite decent and after some time the mess food quality is like moderate but don't expect too much quality from any of the messes in the universities and in mess there will be four servings per day which is breakfast lunch snacks as well as dinner so if you look into the other amenities so in this university there is a health center guest house bank and atm post office copier facility stationery store sovier shop and also university was tie up with beauty parlor as well as travel agency there is a canteen and two cafeterias auditorium so we have laundry facility with moderate pricing so if you look into the some of the sports facilities so in this university we have sports like volleyball basketball football cricket badminton coco kabaddi throwball as well as athletic tracks 
So in this university, we have very less encouragement for sports, but the students who want to play sports, you can play whenever you want. And this university mainly supports yoga. For those who are really interested in yoga, you will get a good opportunity as well as a good support from this university. So if you talk about student clubs as well as events, so there is very less scope for other cultural activities such as student clubs, fairs and events and even workshops also. So there is not much encouragement in terms of events as well as student clubs. So if you talk about entrepreneurship, so this this university mainly focuses on placements so there is not much support for entrepreneurship so this university mainly focused on placements only and if you talk about the alumni student won't give much importance to the alumni network here so there is not a major role of alumni in this university so if you talk about the collaboration so this university was collaborated with various industries various universities as well so you can see the list of industries as well as universities in the screen and also you can see the MOUs which are signed with the top universities in India as well as across the globe so you can see the list in the screen so if you talk about the research if you are really interested with the research you will get support from professors and also there is various research centers which are available at Bharat University you can see the centers list in the screen and if you look into the various schools which are available at Bharat University so we have school of aeronautical engineering school of agriculture school of architecture school of allied health sciences school of arts school of basic sciences school of bioengineering school of computing school of civil and infrastructure engineering School of Dental Sciences, School of Electrical Engineering, School of Law, School of Medicine, School of Mechanical Engineering, School of Management and Commerce, School of Nursing, School of Pharmacy and School of Physiotherapy. So these are the schools which are available at Bharat University. So in this video we are mainly focuses on B.Tech course. So if you talk about the reality about the studies here. So first we have to talk about the faculty and here most of the professors are well qualified, supportive, are very friendly to the students and also all the professors give their level best in order to make the student understand the subject. So if you talk about the curriculum, so the curriculum will be updated according to the current trends and if you talk about the atmosphere at Bharat University, so in Bharat University you will have more freedom. So it is completely depends on you whether you want to utilize that free time or whether you want to waste that free time. And if you talk about the academic pressure, so basically there is not that much academic pressure where you have to perform some assignment labs, so which is mandatory for every B.Tech student. And also if you talk about timings for side hustles so you will get plenty of time so you have to utilize to focus on your side hustles and also you can use it for learning new skills as well so if we talk about admission criteria for btech program so this university conducts its own entrance exam you can take admission through that entrance exam or if you don't write any entrance exam you can get admission through your board marks as well so if you got very good rank in their own entrance exam or you got very good rank in your board marks so your fees will be reduced depending upon your merit and depending upon your board marks so if you look into the fee structure so we have tons of courses in this university so to explain fee structure of each and every course it will take hell lot of time so I will give the link in the description for the fee structure you can check from there and if you talk about the scholarship so you will get scholarship based on university one entrance exam or else you will get a scholarship based on your board exams and if you talk about internship opportunities at Bharat universities so the internship opportunity at Bharat University is really good. So the companies will come to the campus to offer internship. So all you need to have is required skill set. So if you look into the placement statistics in 2023, so the number of students opted for job is 2157 and total number of job offers is 2046 and total number of companies visited is 256 and total number of internships offered is 836 and the highest package which was received in this university is 27 lakhs per annum and the average salary is 4.5 lakhs per annum and the placement percentage on 2023 is around 94% and also if you want to know about uh, what are the recruiters come here for their placements and if you want to know in detail about the placement statistics I will give the placement brochure link in the description where you can download it and you can check from there so if you look into the ROI in this university so it is completely depend on individual so if you learn the skills which are required for the industry so you will get very decent package and this university supports and this university encourages the students in order to get placed so they will put 100% effort on the students in order to get placed in a company so finally which type of students should join so if you are someone who want more time more freedom to do whatever you want and if you are someone who can afford this much fee structure and if you are someone who has placement as your first priority then definitely you can consider this university so this is all about Bharat University I hope you got complete information about Bharat University 
so if you think i have missed any information please put it in the comment section and uh, if you think you got some information by seeing this video please make sure that you have liked this video and please share your opinion in the comment section and if you think this video is helpful for your friends and relatives please share with them and if you want to be notified when i upload these kind of similar videos please make sure you have subscribed the channel and turn on notifications just by hitting that bell icon so this is your joshua kamlakar signing off